Okay. G'day. G'day. Today we're going to be playing Not Without My Poop. Basically, it's a dung beetle simulator. It's that's legit all you do. Just a dung beetle. You just roll some shit down a street. On a hot summer day, a lonely dung beetle finds himself a warm pile of manure. Quickly, he breaks a piece, rolls it into a ball, and off he goes. Success, however, is not yet assured, as now comes the great task of getting it to where it's going. Yeah, so, like he said, I'm a dung beetle, I've got to get where I'm going, which is this big old white dot up here. Um, I'm using a Xbox 360 controller. You can use a keyboard, um, but it's really not a good idea. <laughs> With an analog thumbstick, you can go in any direction and spin like this into 360s and shit. You just get style points, pretty much. Makes it easier as well. That's probably the better reason for using one. Um, so I'll finish up this level, and this guy will chat to me again. Tell me about some dung beetle shizzle. I can get in this fucking circle. Here we go. Stopping in this game is not one of those things you can do very easily. And turning straight lines are fine though. There we go. Dung beetles are very strong animals. They can carry weight which is 50 times heavier than themselves. Yep. I'm a fucking beast. Yeah, so, got to dodge obstacles now, it gets tougher. I've only played through this, like, I haven't actually played through it. I've just played the first two, two levels before. Um, it was 50 cents on Steam, maybe 49 cents, something like that. Um, and there's just campaign mode with, like, two settings, can't change anything else. Uh... I really do like this game, it's actually pretty fun for 50 cents. Um, the achievements for it, so if you're into achievement hunting, you can be a big nerd and do that. So that's good, I guess. Um, oh, shit, 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 no, first wipe out, dirty screen, yep, so, start that again. Uh, yeah, I reckon if they had a time trial mode or something. You've got to like get to the exit before the time runs out I guess. <laughs> That'd add like an extra reason for you to play. And then I reckon local co-op. So you get like a couple Xbox controllers, or, like have your keyboard, your Xbox controller, play against someone. That'll be fun. Even better than that. Multiplayer races. So you like one track, two dung beetles, first one to the end wins. Uh, yeah, I reckon that'd be pretty cool. I don't know how well that'd work. If this like collision mode would be on or anything. Get some rage moments like in golf with your friends. You just like knock them out of the park and they've got to start again. So, oh, yeah, that means you could have like demolition derby mode, dung beetle royale. <laughs> That'd be pretty fun. I don't know how well it'd actually work though. They are solitary creatures which meet with other beetles only during mating season. At least he meets people. And gets to mate. Unlike us cave dwellers. I don't know if anyone's watched that Mythbusters episode where they polished a turd just to get it to like hella shiny. I don't know I don't know what they were actually testing. Uh, 
but they polished a turd just for the sake of it. I don't think it was a human turd, I think it was like a tiger or something. Like really obscure animal. Something that you're not really gonna be seeing often. Oh fuck. Yeah, I don't I don't see the point in polishing turds, because they are they're just that. It's just you can polish a turd but it's still a turd. Dung beetles, they're not really polishers, they're just dudes who live in a poo. Just realising how big this dung beetle is. If those are like normal sized hay bales and that's a normal fence, this is the biggest bug I'd I've ever seen, and I would actually be quite scared if a, a beetle was just cruising around on a big bowl of turd this big down the street. That's some like, what's it, Starship Trooper sized bugs hauling ammo to one of them slingshot dudes. Trebuchet, maybe. I know I probably look hell shit at this, and it's probably because I am quite shit at this. Um, I'm not one of those super good gamer nerds who can just do everything, pick it up instantly. I'm a bit of a oh fuck, a shit nerd. So like I I enjoy playing shit, but not necessarily any good at it. But I'm also not like the worst. I'm sure there's people out there that are still wouldn't even be able to get past the first level. I'm happy that you can touch hay bales and whatnot with your dung bowl, otherwise I would fall off a lot more and my turd would explode everywhere. in the bag. Famous last words. Fuck. Yeah. Okay, I've never gotten this far, so let's see how we go in the next level. Dung beetles use their ball of poop to woo the ladies. I guess that's fine if you're into that sort of stuff. I'm not one to judge. It's just not my thing. <laughs> yeah, there really are some odd fetishes out there. If you're into something that's like out of someone's ass, it's that's just kind of Weird, dude. Same with feet. I don't get foot fetishes. Because, like, 
Like, I don't mind looking at a foot. I like some ugly ass toes, but... I wouldn't want that anywhere near my mouth. Or any other part of my body. Oh fuck, I threw. Okay, final death. And then I'll call it quits. Oh. Unless I finish the level and then I'll keep going. For such a cheap game, this it actually looks half decent. I know it's like a dung beetle, it's just a cube, pretty much. But like the bowl's a proper sphere by the looks of it. And like, I mean, that shadow's not the prettiest thing, but nobody's really gonna be looking at the tree to start with. It's just more staying on this goddamn bowl of shit. Thumb's getting real sore. I haven't played with a controller in years. Flashback to 2012 when Halo was the best. Everyone had an Xbox 360. Go to your friend's house after school and play Halo 3, Griff Bowl, or Forge World, or whatever it was, where you build shit. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.